your desk method for unconfined compressive strength of cohesive soil as referenced from ASTM D2166. In this test method, cohesion and unconfined compressive strength are determined. The test method is considered the most economical and easiest test and is essential in identifying the strength and bearing capacity for foundation applications. Clay was used for this type of test since granular soils cannot contain the desired shape when unconfined. The experiment seeks to achieve the following objectives. To determine the unconfined compressive strength of cohesive soil, to extract a cohesive soil sample that has a height to diameter ratio of 2, to identify the type of failure that occurred in the cohesive soil sample, and to obtain the undrained shear strength and cohesion of the cohesive soil sample. To prepare the mold, apply grease on its inner and outer surfaces. After doing so, weigh the mold. Extract a cylindrical soil sample from a remolded specimen using a cylindrical mold with a height to diameter ratio of 2. Insert the mold into the clay soil with the specimen filling the mold to the brim to achieve the desired height to diameter ratio. Remove the mold filled with cowling clay from the soil specimen. Take note that the cylindrical soil specimen should have a height to diameter ratio of 2. Trim the ends of the specimen perpendicular to the longitudinal axis without applying significant pressure, as doing so can affect the results of the experiment. Make sure that the upper and lower surface of the block is flat and even. Weigh the mold with the specimen. Make sure to remove excess clay stuck to the outer surface of the mold. Remove the specimen from the mold with the aid of a wooden block. This should be done slowly but carefully. Separate the cylindrical soil specimen from the wooden block with the flaws carefully. Determine the dimensions of the specimen using a vernier caliber. Multiple readings can aid in producing a more accurate measurement. The specimen is now ready for testing. Place the specimen in the loading device so that it is centered on the bottom plane. Adjust the loading device carefully so that the upper plane just makes contact with the specimen. Apply the load so as to produce an actual strain rate of 1 half to 2% per minute. Record the load, deformation, and time values at sufficient intervals to define the shape of the stress strain curve.
determine the water content of the specimen. Indicate on the test report whether the water content sample was obtained before or after the shear test. strain relationship would be obtained from the compression test using these formulas. The type of failure is definitive of the behavior of the stress strain plot. A plot which reaches a summit indicates that the type of failure was shearing, while continuously peaking curve corresponds to failure due to bulging. A curve with a peak but continuously increased a type of failure which is both shearing and bulging. Depending on the type of failure, the unconfined compressive strength of soil could either be the peak of the plot or the stress at 15% axial strain. The more circle for the particular cohesive sample should look like this, where the soil parameter cohesion C is taken to be one half of the unconfined compressive strength. The first trial exhibited a shearing type of failure which was confirmed as the stress strain plot shows this. It can be seen that the stress strain curve reached a peak but continued to increase its strain and stress. This curve signifies a type of failure that is both shearing and bulging. We get the stress at 15% strain and found out to be that the soil's unconfined compressive strength is 46.32 kPa then the cohesion would be 23.16 kPa. While the second trial exhibited shearing and bulging type of failure, this was further confirmed by the stress strain plot. The curve shows a definitive peak which signifies a bulging failure type. This soil sample's unconfined compressive strength is 52.04 kPa and its cohesion is 25.02 kPa.